How was the camera made? Imagine a world without the camera. A world where we couldn't preserve our memories, our happiest moments, and our loved ones in a photo. It sounds bleak, and frankly, depressing. There'd be no way to relive the days gone by, and if nobody remembers them, did they even really happen? Fortunately, that's not the world we live in. Instead, we live in a world where you'd be hard-pressed to find someone who doesn't possess a camera. That's how widespread a technology they've become. But how did they get here? Who created the camera? Today, join us as we answer exactly that and explore just how the camera was made. Early Image Projection The earliest known device capable of image projection was called the Camera Obscura, Latin for dark chamber. It was an optical device that served as a precursor to the modern camera. It consisted of a darkened room, or box, with a small hole on one side. When light passed through the hole, it projected an inverted image of the outside scene onto the opposite wall inside the chamber. This principle was known to ancient scholars like Aristotle, but it gained prominence in the 16th century as artists and scientists, including Leonardo da Vinci, used it for drawing and understanding perspective. The Camera Obscura pioneered the idea of capturing images through optics. Leonardo da Vinci, in the 15th century, extensively studied the Camera Obscura and its applications. His sketches and writings documented his understanding of the device and its ability to project realistic images. In the 17th century, Johann Zahn, a German Jesuit, proposed the idea of a portable Camera Obscura for sketching. Although he didn't build a working model, Zahn's designs and concepts contributed to the evolving understanding of capturing images using a light-sensitive device. Prior to the invention of the photo camera, artists primarily used the camera obscura as a tool for drawing and painting. The shift from manually reproducing scenes to capturing them directly using optics marked a significant transition. This kick-started an evolution that would eventually lead to the development of photography as inventors and scientists began experimenting with ways to fix images permanently. Birth of the first camera After years of experimentation with the camera obscura, a massive breakthrough was finally made in 1826 by Joseph Nicephore Nipsey, a French inventor, achieved a major breakthrough by creating the world's first permanent photograph, known as View from the Window at Le Gras. Nipsey used a polished pewter plate coated with bitumen of Judea, a naturally occurring asphalt, to capture the image. The bitumen hardened where it received light, creating a fixed image. Although the exposure time was exceedingly long, about eight hours, this experiment was the first of many that would lead to major advancements in photography. Building upon Nipsey's work, Louis Daguerre partnered with him and after Nipsey's death, continued his research. In 1839, Daguerre introduced the daguerreotype, a more practical and commercially viable photographic process. The daguerreotype involved exposing a silver-plated copper sheet coated with silver iodide to light. The image was then developed using mercury vapor, resulting in a unique, highly detailed photograph. The daguerreotype gained immense popularity in the 19th century and was a great step forward in the accessibility of photography. At the same time, advancements in lens technology were crucial to improving the quality and clarity of photographic images. Pioneers like Joseph Petzval developed lenses specifically designed for portraiture, addressing the limitations of earlier optics. The camera obscura kept influencing the design of early cameras, with inventors integrating lens systems to focus light onto light-sensitive materials, creating sharper and more detailed images. All these advancements allowed camera technology to continue evolving as a tool for both artistic expression and scientific documentation. Improvements to the photographic process Further improvements to the process of capturing a photo came in the mid-19th century from Frederick Scott Archer, who introduced the wet plate collodion process. This technique involved coating glass plates with a mixture of collodion, a viscous solution, and light-sensitive chemicals. The wet plate process allowed for shorter exposure times compared to the daguerreotype, making photography much more practical and portable than before. It became widely adopted in the 1850s and 1860s. Then, the late 19th century witnessed a transformative moment with the introduction of flexible film by George Eastman, in 1888, Eastman launched the Kodak camera, which used a roll of flexible film instead of glass plates. This innovation made photography even more accessible to the general public, as amateur photographers could easily handle the portable and user-friendly Kodak cameras. 
Eastman's creation marked the beginning of a shift from cumbersome and complex photographic processes to convenient and portable options that anyone could use. The use of film rolls instead of glass plates was a crucial shift that led to a great deal of improvements to the portability and convenience of cameras. Film rolls allowed for multiple exposures before needing replacement, making photography much less of a hassle. And yes, you heard right earlier, Kodak, as in the photography company today. Eastman's Kodak company played a huge role in democratizing photography. His brand's slogan was, you press the button, we do the rest, which really emphasized the simplicity of using the Kodak camera. Because of this, cameras had now gone from a novel and hard to use technology to an easily accessible and convenient tool. Oh, by the way, if you're hooked so far and you'd like to see more content just like this, please consider a sub to the channel so you can catch every video as soon as they come. Evolution of Camera Designs As photographic processes evolved, so did the cameras involved in them. They became more portable, enabling photographers to move away from studio settings. Innovators like George Eastman and other camera manufacturers started producing handheld cameras, such as the Kodak Brownie, which made photography open to enthusiasts and amateurs. This shift marked the beginning of diverse photographic practices outside the confines of studios. Folding cameras, characterized by their collapsible bellows design, gained popularity in the early 20th century. These cameras were compact and allowed for easy transportation. Photographers could extend the bellows for focusing and then collapse them for storage. This design became widely adopted, renowned for its balance between portability and functionality. Then, in the 1920s, the German company Lysa revolutionized photography with the introduction of the Lysa 1, the first commercially successful 35mm camera. Lysa cameras were small, lightweight, and used 35mm film, offering exceptional image quality. This made Lysa's design a pioneer in high-quality photography. The Roloflex, introduced in 1928, was a pioneering twin-lens reflex, or TLR, camera. It featured two lenses, one for viewing and one for capturing images. TLR cameras became popular among professional photographers and enthusiasts for their ease of use and the ability to capture square format images. The Roloflex in particular set the bar for TLR design and inspired various iterations in the years that followed. Innovations in the mid-20th century With the coming of the mid-20th century came the widespread adoption of the single-lens reflex, or SLR system in camera design. SLR cameras allowed photographers to view the scene through the same lens used for capturing the image, offering a more accurate representation of framing and focus. This innovation greatly improved the precision and control photographers had over their compositions, making SLR cameras a popular choice for professionals and enthusiasts alike. Then, in the late 20th century, autofocus technology emerged as a groundbreaking innovation. Cameras equipped with autofocus systems automatically adjusted the focus, eliminating the need for manual focusing. This made photography even easier than it already was, as users no longer had to get skilled at manual focusing. Also, a surprisingly major player in camera advancement was actually NASA during the space race of the mid-20th century. NASA played a pivotal role in developing cameras for space exploration, including the iconic Hasselblad cameras used during the Apollo missions. These cameras were specially designed for the challenging conditions of space and lunar photography, contributing to both scientific documentation and iconic imagery. The Modern Era of Photography by the end of the 20th century, as with all things, the camera was going through a paradigm shift with the advent of digital photography. The first digital cameras, such as the Kodak DCS series, emerged in the 1990s. Unlike film, digital sensors converted light directly into electronic signals, allowing for instant image capture and preview. Digital sensors offered advantages such as adjustable ISO settings, improved dynamic range, the ability to store a large number of images on memory cards, and the convenience of not needing film rolls anymore. The transition from film to digital photography once again revolutionized the entire photographic process, impacting how images were captured, stored, and shared forever. After that, it was a steep slope once digital cameras were integrated into mobile phones. Smartphones, equipped with increasingly advanced camera systems, became the most widely used devices for capturing and sharing photos. The convenience of having a capable camera always at hand, 
combined with the ease of instant sharing photos on social media, transformed how people approach photography in their daily lives. Today, ongoing advancements in sensor technology continue to lead to better image quality, improvements in sensor resolution, dynamic range, and low light performance help make camera results sharper and more detailed than ever before. Exceptionally large strides have been made in recent years with image post-processing, which allows devices to make use of artificial intelligence algorithms to enhance and improve a photo right after snapping it, leading to even greater results than could normally be possible with the hardware. AI in cameras is also enabling features like smart autofocus, scene recognition, and even the removal of distracting background objects from the image. So, as you can see, the story of how the phone you are watching this video on right now has such a high-quality camera at the back that spans many centuries of innovation and improvements. And with the way things are going right now, the cameras of the future are poised to capture even more lifelike images than they do today. Hope you learned something from this video. Thanks for watching.